So hello everybody, welcome back to the Biathlon 1994 Championship where we will get round 3 underway. And so for round 3 of the competition we go over to Anarchy in France and as you can see all male and female biathletes are all still in the competition as nobody has fell 15 minutes or below or failed to finish either of the first two races. So with that out of the way let's get over to the men's side of the competition where we'll start the first feature race. There we go, it is the 20 second to 40 second race, our first two feature races. The man that's the fastest at the fastest time so far is John H. Tildum, who will be starting in fourth position, with the next fastest being Viktor Megarov, who will be starting second, with Vadim Sashern, the third fastest on this group, starting 17th, with Thomas Koss, Viktor Megarov, and Ivar Ukolev in the front row. Who is going to win this group instead of the fastest time to maybe make it to the first 21st race? Let's go in there and find out. And away uh, we, we go to his cost down pole position after all. But it already looks like Megarov is going to take an early lead on this of this race. With Yulikliv uh, starting, who is number starting third. Uh, it's just going to hang about in second place looks like. As Thomas Koss looking like he's falling uh, towards the back already. Coming to the 1 kilometer to mark. Megaroof is in the lead. Ukla is second. Passler is third. The first 21st. Uh, 4.8 seconds. Both Felsapex, Euros and Eur are 20 21st at the moment. So the two Slovenians struggling at the back already. Of course there's only 1 kilometer. We've got 14 more to go uh, in this race. The question is, what's going to happen here? Megaroth still holding out a lead. There's, there'll be Passler there in second position. Yulikliv is third, Tilden fourth, Memphis is fifth. In fact, where is uh, Costa? He's gone, started pole, he's going down to 13th position, so he must be the slowest skier on this track. First is 21st, 8.7 seconds. And here we go into the shooting range for the first time. Who's going to be in, get to the slot first? It is Megarov, Dusser and Passler, the, the, the three fastest into their respective uh, place. So Koss will be the last. Yeah, Koss uh, was the slowest based on his posi starting position. So we have a lot of misses already in. Megarov missed one, Dusser missed one, Passler missed one. Who's going to go clear? Heintelati's gone clear for Finland. So it's Yulikov, Holobek, Alfred Ida. Your Felspex is also going clear. Fact, well, Frank Perra missed four targets. That's not a good start for the Frenchman in this feature race. Yulkliv takes the lead just ahead of Haitalati from Finland. There's Holbeck third. There's either fourth. Your Felspex, uh, I believe he was 20 up to fifth now. Tildum six. Where's Megaro first down to 11th position? Going to the four kilometer mark with the fin finish and the. Norwegian uh, battling for the lead. There we go. That's Haitalati and Yukolev making only seven tenths of seconds separating them. That's Eder third with game pass Holobek for fourth. Tildum fifth. And there's the Slovenian of Eurofelspec in sixth position. And everyone's making their way through the four kilometer mark. First to 15, 16 seconds. The question is. Can those two, can Yulikov and Haitalati hold into the lead, or will someone else jump into the lead? Will Megarov reclaim the lead of this race? Look at that. In fact, Haitalati is pulling, a, pulling 2.2 seconds ahead of Yulikov now, so Yulikov is struggling for pace, it looks like, a bit. But anyway, here they are coming into the shooting range for the second time in this race. So let's see what Haitalati and Yulikov can do here. Of course, Johnny Tildum has, has recorded the fastest time so far along this group of racers. And Tildum is currently sitting fourth. And Haitalati's missed a target. What about Yulikliv? And uh, Haitalati's missed another target. Haitalati's cracked under pressure. Yulikliv's cracking under pressure as well. Two penalty loops for the finish. One for the for the Norwegian. And look at Alfred Eder, though. Might come in to take the lead. Alfred Eder goes clear. Can he take? Will he, can he get out fast enough and get ahead of Yulikov, or will Yulikov hold on? Fashion's gone clear, pass has gone clear, and it looks like yeah, Alfred is just about getting ahead of Yulikov. One second separating the two biathletes. Fashion is third. High Talati drops to fourth. Pass with fifth. Tilden drops to sixth. 
Mikarov is seventh at the moment. And yeah, okay, so uh, in fact Thomas Koss looks like the last the last bike is going clear. Frank Power missed four tires the first time, Ryan's missed another one. So Frank Power really struggling uh, in this round, it looks like. Top five, separated by only six seconds, so not too much separating uh, the six by athletes. And then you go drop down to seven, since when they're all in the top ten. Still a relatively large group of athletes bunched together. It's, it was only like two that's uh, dropped behind. I believe that's Perot and Sakura. And I believe that's the two by athletes that they're not amongst the large group. 8.2 kilometer, uh, and that's Alfredina. 4 minutes, 4.1. Only, if I think he's losing time, I think Euclid is actually eating up uh, either his uh, gap. So either is slower than Euclid, it looks like at the moment. But anyway, here we are coming into the shooting range for the third time in this race. Can Alfred Eder go clear and maintain his lead, or will Eulicliffe jump back, uh, jump back into the lead of the race? Here we go. Makarov uh, may have quite a lot of time actually. He to be in the top six. Alfred Eder and Eulicliffe missed the target. Fashers missed the target. Eulicliffe missed twice. And what about and Passler? Okay, so we have got Johan Passler has gone clear. tilden has gone clear. The man who is the fastest to the fastest time so far coming into this race. Favre has gone clear. Dolny has gone clear as well. So Passler is our new race leader into the, coming into the second half of the race. Anyone else gone clear? Everyone looks like a lot of people are missing one target. Thomas Koss has gone clear. Garabek from Czech Republic has also gone clear. Yeah, Yuri's Velsapace missed three targets, and that's not good for him. That's not good for himself. Frank Perra and Sakura have made it to the shooting range. Uh, Frank Perra's gone clear, so I'll make up for some time. What about Sakura? He does go clear, so he try and make up some time as well. Six minutes exactly the 10 kilometer mark. Top four, separate by only five and a half seconds. So not too much in it between the top four, it looks like. You know, Megarov dropped back down to ninth again was Vonkov in tenth uh, at the moment for Ukraine. 11.2 kilometers. What time are we at now for Johan Passler? 629.9 in second place. Oh, in fact, oh, Passler's actually got to pull quite a distance on Alfred Eder. Six seconds separating them. Okay, so Johan Passler showing he's got some a good amount of pace coming to the second. This coming up towards the. Fourth and final round of the shooting range. What can Johan Passler do here? Can he hold on and maybe uh, sneak in a victory for himself? Okay, here comes Johan Passler into the shooting range. Let's see what he can do here. Uh, Passler's missed the target. Uh, it's about two misses from Passler. It's not really needed. Three misses from Passler. That might. That's probably going to throw his victory away. What about Tildum? This one. Alfred has gone clear. He might sneak back into the lead of this race. Antelias missed three targets. Dolny's missed three targets. Megaroth's gone clear as well. Okay, it's all happening in this final round of the shooting range. Alfred Eater really takes the lead. Uh, Patrick Favre goes into second. Third place, Megaroth. Tildum is fourth. Has anyone else, got, has anyone else actually gone clear, actually? Tildum fourth. Fashion fifth. Eulicliffe is in sixth. Thomas Koss goes clear for Slovenia. <coughs> and maybe the last bias to go clear this last uh, no fact Frank Perra's gone clear so Frank Perra try and make up for some possessions after his really bad start into this race top four separating by only six and a half seconds that's going to be quite close uh, a close bunch uh, towards those uh, front towards the end 14.2 kilometers we are at now. What time is it for Alfred Eder? It is 8.22.5. That seems like a pretty decent time. Just got to make it downhill and then to the finish line. But nearly four seconds ahead of Favre in second with Maker of third, Sash in fourth and Tildum in fifth position. And here we go. That is Alfred Eder for this 20 second to 40 second race. Will come in and take first place. With a time of 8.46.9. Oh, got a close battle for second here. And it's Megarov that's going to beat Favre to second place. 
by two tenths of a second. Sashin goes in fourth. Tildum is fifth. And we've got a battle for six here. Pathler will and Euclid tie, get actually said the same time, so they tie for six. We just gotta wait for everyone else to finish. And here we go, that's the last pass to make it to the finish line. That's Euros Velsepec from Slovenia. So Afrodita wins with Megarov second, Favri third, Sasha in fourth, Tildum fifth, Pass the sixth, Euclid seventh, Ducer is eighth, Faitha Haitalati ninth, and Yuri Holbeck is rounds of your top ten. So with that race out of the way, it's time for the second feature race, the first to twenty first race. And so here we go, this is the 1st to 21st race, which is the top 21 fastest bastards we had coming into this race. Sven Fischer, the championship leader, starting in 6th position. Patrice Bailey Salon, 2nd place, starts 3rd. And 3rd place is Stefani Busso, who will be starting at the back of the of this grid. Who among them is going to win this race and take the lead of the championship? Will it still be Sven Fischer out in front, or will someone else take the lead? He does have a 26.1 second lead over second place Patrice Billy Salon. So let's see what happens and we will get underway. Vladimir Dratchet on pole, James Steignan and Patrice Billy Salon sharing the front row. Here we go. And away we go and it looks like already a good start there from Stephanie Boso. Might take, try to take the lead of the race already of Drachev. James Stegner dropping back a little bit already as they come to the one kilometer mark. Well, let's see who will come out of come out the top of the hill in first position. And that'll be Bailey Salins. Drash a second. Sven Fisher up into third. First to 21st. Only separated by four seconds, so not too much in it between everyone in this race. Of course, I'm pretty sure that story will change by the time we get to the shooting range. The fastest man uh, who set a time coming into uh, just before this race, that's Victor Megarov, in, who's uh, currently the fastest at the moment. His time is 29 minutes, 29.5. We'll see what everyone else can do in comparison to that time. Here we go, coming in to the shooting range for the first time. Billy Salon still holding on to the lead of this race. Uh, Busso, who... Um, Started the back has made his way into the top five already. So really quick time there from really quick pace there from the Frenchman. Busso, Fisher, and Billy Sound the fastest three into the rest of the slots. Now let's see who will come out in first position. Look okay, everyone underway. Billy Sound's missed the target already. Busso's missed the target. What about Sven Fisher? And Sven Fisher masterclass going going clear. Anyone else going to go clear? Yes, uh, Alexander Popov and Oina Bjorndalen, with Hannibald also going clear. Oh, of course, Rico Gross as well. Okay, so quite a few bastards gone clear. The most amount of see misses I'm seeing is Flandin with three. So Fisher leads, Popov is second, Bjorndalen third, Gross fourth, Bailey Sands is fifth, Hannibal sixth, Trash is seventh, Glimstall eighth, Jen Segnan is proud of your top nine at the moment. And here we go, coming to the top of the hill as we see the German of Sven Fischer emerging as the current leader so far. 2 minutes 5.3 is his time. And here's second place, that will be Alexander Popov, which you see Bjorn down third. Gross and Bailey Sands in the battle for fourth. There's Drash is sixth and Hannibal is seventh. And okay, we've got a lot of athletes bunched up together with Tarasov rounding off your top 10. In fact, not much separating first to twenty first in the moment. Well, actually, there's a big gap, but in context, I imagine it's going to get even bigger than this. Two thirty four point one is Fisher's time with Popov still in second place. It looks like, and here we go coming in to the shooting range. Pressure on Sven Fisher to go clear again, try and maintain his lead of the race and the championship, of course. Here we go, in comes Sven Fischer. Here he is, into the shooting range he goes. There'll be Popov second, there'll be Bjorn Dallin third coming into the range now. I thought it'll be Billy Sands is third, he gets ahead of Bjorn Dallin, okay. And here we go, Fischer is already underway. And it looks like he's set to go clear. Yes, and Fischer does go clear. Really quick uh, time there from Sven Fischer. Uh, what about everyone else? Popos missed his last target, so is Bailey Sands. Bjorn Dan goes clear, Rico Gross goes clear, so they're going to gain some positions and some time as well. Uh, Tarasov, Glimstill, Kirchner, Zingel. Okay, we've got Paul Huber has also gone clear. Wilf Wilfried, Paul Huber, the slowest man 
Well, the man who set the slowest time coming into this race, his time is 20 minutes, 20, 32.9. However, he has gone clear. He's, I'm pretty sure he's going to gain some possessions uh, on the oppositions because there's quite a lot of those are missing targets. Look at the, well, Sven Fisher has got a huge gap already in second place. That'll be held by Bjorn Dallin. 12 seconds separating first and second. There's Rico Gross third. There's Popov fourth from Billy Sounds. Fifth and Drachev rounds off your top six by athletes so far. Okay, coming to the 8.2 kilometer mark. There's Sven Fisher. What's his time going to be? 4.15.7 is his time. As he's coming around to the shooting range for the third time for his first of two rounds of starting shoot. <coughs> okay, what can the German do here? Can he go clear and maintain this impressive lead of his? It looks like, I think, judging by the map, Rico Gross may have actually got past Bjorn Dallin, so we might have a German German 1 2 at the moment. Okay, let's see this. Sven Fischer in the range, all ready to go. Okay, Sven Fischer is two, 2 for 2, 3 for 3, 4 for 4. Can he go clear? And he does go clear. He does maintain his lead of the race. Let's check the everyone else, though, because we got. Uh, Quite a battle for second place, actually. You've got Bjorn Dallin, Gross, Billy Sands, Popov, and Drachev all in, all in on this. And we've got Rico Gross going clear, Bjorn Dallin's missed one, Popov's going clear. Okay, so Bjorn Dallin, Billy uh, Sands, and Drachev all going into the penalty loop. So, okay, so Paul Hubert's going clear, Hannibal's going clear, Reisenkopf's going clear, Jane Stagnant's going clear. Okay, a few biathletes have gone clear. Look at the gap. Sven Fischer has got a huge lead. A really huge lead. There's less of the biathletes that are coming into the shooting range. Got, uh, yeah, the last of them has just left the shooting range. 16.5 seconds the gap between Fischer and Gross. This is a very dominant rate, dominant form from Sven Fischer in Anarchy. A really dominant form Sven Fischer's got here. He is definitely setting himself up nicely to win this championship. That's for sure. There we go. I don't know who it's in 20... I can't, I'm not sure who's in 24. I believe the just coming on the penalty. But here comes Sven Fischer coming into the shooting range for the fourth and final time. That is how dominant Sven Fischer has been this race. Right. Pressure's on Fischer. Can he go clear again? And increase this... In Increases leading the championship. And Sven Fischer has missed the target. Okay, Sven Fischer not going to go clean this race. One penalty loop for Sven Fischer, but that's but that's still going to be more than enough for him to win. Even if Gross go clear, Fischer is going to be well in front, that's for sure. So the battle for sec is really a battle for second for Gross and Popov. Bjorn down Drachev, outside chance, but can't really see them uh, catching Bjorn down or Popov. And anyway, Gross has missed one, Popos missed one, Bjorn Dallin Drachev have all missed one. I've had two misses from Drachev and Bjorn Dallin. They're going to be really struggling to get a decent finish after this. Bailey Silence goes clear. Um, yeah, so just Bailey Silence gone clear. Busto's gone clear. So those are second third in the championship have gone clear. That's good. Uh, finished strong, I guess. Glimsdal goes clear for Norway. And I think that might be it. In fact, no, we've got Bath still coming into the shooting range. The question is, can they recover something after being so far behind? Karchner goes clear. Flandon uh, misses one target. Uh, Carrara has also missed a target. <coughs> I've had two misses from Carrara. Pierre Bertel Carrara. Uh, the back end of the time, uh, when it comes to times in this group, so that was something Carrara definitely could not have afforded. And I imagine he might end up falling out of the top 21. Uh, after that. So here comes Sven Fischer after a very very dominant showing is going to come across the finish line with a really quick time. It's time 8 minutes 3.9. Very very good time. Rico Gross 22 seconds back in second place is going to come across the line and finish second position. Ahead of Popov then it's the two Frenchmen where have the when Bjorn Dallin's really uh, fall, has fallen Fallen down the order quite a lot, so Bjorn Dad was doing pretty well in the top 10. Now he seems to have fallen out of the top 10 entirely. Rico Gross finishing 22 and a half seconds down. Pop off 25 and a half seconds down. There's Bailey Sounds fourth. Busso will be fifth. And we just gotta wait for everyone else to finish this race. 
And there we go, everyone has made it across the finish line. And I don't really think I need to say much better, but look how incredibly dominant Swordfish was. Him and Gross only missed one target, but look at the gap, 22 and a half seconds separating them. Cannot get much more dominant than that. Fenn Fisher wins, Rico Gross second, Popov third, Bailey Salins and Busso, who were second and third in the championship, third, fourth and fifth respectively. Rice and Cough sixth, Drash is seventh, Jen second and eighth. Wolf uh, Paul Huber, sorry, is ninth. Round three top ten, Sylvester Glimstall. So with that out of the way, it is time for the women's competition. And let's make our way to the feature races. And here we are for our first of the two feature races, the 22nd to 42nd race. The highest place by athlete that's 22nd is currently Joan Miller-Smith and she will be starting in 9th position with uh, 23rd being Laurie Tavares, another American, down in will be starting in 7th and 3rd highest 24th, Emmanuel Claret, who will be starting in 8th position. It's Anfisa Retsova for Russia, Halina Peton and Annette Sixland all starting on the front row. Which one of them will get the fast time? Will any of them make the top 20 at the end of this round? Let's get into the race and find out. And we are underway and it looks like a good start for the Norwegian. That will be Sikfland. All right, looks like we're going to kind of front, but Retsova already uh, fighting back to try and hold on to an early lead. And so they're making their way to the one kilometer mark and we wait for them to come up the top of the hill and there they all are. And taking the early lead is Sikfland, Retsova second, Kukajua third for Belarus, first in the 21st, separated by just under four seconds. And Sikfland already pulling a bit of a gap on those behind her at the moment. And uh, who is in second place is that? Uh, Kukajua. It might be Kukajua indeed for Belarus. Because Kukajua does have, some de does have a good amount of ski pace. As they're making their way towards the shooting range, we've got one of the French biathletes catching up. That's Claret, with Burt right behind in fourth position. And here they all come into the shooting range. They're making their way down to the bottom of the hill. And who will get into their slot first? Of course, it doesn't matter what position they're in. In the first round, it's always it's their starting position that decides. First into the shooting range is Claret and Burlet, the two fastest. And then again, they started lower down the field. Who among them are going to go clear here? Okay, Clara and Barlett are underway. Miss from Clara, miss from Sixland. Sixland's missed twice, actually. Two misses from Clara. In fact, three, four misses from Sixland. Barlett goes clear. Joe Millersmith goes clear. Ivan Kanagazova goes clear. Best Coates also goes clear. And Laurie Tavares also go clear. Okay, a few athletes did go clear, but it's Barlett taking the lead with Joe Millersmith second. And Kanagazova is in third position for Bulgaria. But we've got three Americans in the top five with John, with Mill Smith, Tavares, and Coates. Coca Jura sixth and Permakova seventh for Belarus. And they're making the way to the four kilometer mark. They make the way to the top of the hill. There they are. There is Barlett taking the lead of this race. Where's Barlett? Twice seventh in the championship standings with Mill Smith. The highest placed by athlete in this group in second place. And the second highest in the group, Lloyd Tavares, in sixth position. Just only about seven seconds down on Burlitt, so not too much separating first down to six. With Smetina in seventh, over ten seconds behind. Okay, 5.2 kilometres we are now at, with Delphine Burlitt still in the lead of this race. With Joe Millersmith in second, with Ivan Karakasova, who's 25th actually, so Ivan Karakasova is amongst those high, the higher placed by athletes and is and sitting in third position. So looking good so far for Millersmith, uh, Barlett, and Karakasova. Here they go, they are into the shooting range, they go. Karakasova's in, Kokajua is in, Coates and Tavares should be coming in. This the team has actually got ahead of Laurie Tavares. So Laurie Tavares doesn't have the ski pace, but I think she's got the, a good accuracy to make up for it. And Delphine Burley goes clear. Joe Miller Smith missed one. Carrick Silver missed one. Cocker Jews missed two. One miss from Coates. One miss. Two misses from Satina. And uh, three misses from Satina, actually. And one miss from Tavares. Will anyone else lower down the, lower down the field going to go clear? Burley's got a huge lead now, for sure. 
And it looks like no one else is going to go. In fact, Pelkova is gone clear for Czech Republic, seeing 32nd in the standings. Yeah, Delphine Barth got a huge lead. Sickfeland has gone clear after a horrible first round of the shooting range for Sickfeland. I think she missed four targets, which was really not good. Get that brother well out in front. Second place, that is one of the Americans. That is, I believe, Joe Miller Smith. Yeah, 10.1 seconds. It's Ivor Karakasova sitting in third position. They've got a lot of long ground to make up, but they want to catch up to uh, Delphine Burlett. And then uh, Kukajur is fourth. Laura Tavares is fifth. Uh, Coat six. Clark seven. Scalota eight. Pelkova after going clear is ninth. And seven to see the rest of your top ten for Ukraine. And here we go to the coming into the shoot range for the third time. The first of two standing shoots. Can Delphine Barlett hold on to keep this great form going and, well, extend her lead over the competition? Okay, let's see what Delphine Barlett can do here. This is all, this is looking really good for Barlett. She's definitely going to probably end up in the top 20 uh, overall at the end of this round. And Barlett's missed one target. Okay, slip up there from the French lady. Oh, two misses from Barlett. That could be costly, actually. That's going to cost her a lot of time. Joe Miller Smith is underway, so is Karagazova. Karagazova smiths one target. Can Joe Miller Smith go clear? Joe Miller Smith does go clear, and all of a sudden, the battle for the, there's a battle for the lead is well and truly on. Uh, Clara smiths the target. Tavares smiths the target. And Joe Miller Smith just about gets ahead of uh, Delphine Barlett. Not by much. Uh, we've got Best Coast going clear. Tavares has missed three rounds of the shooting range, so she's clearly uh, cracked under the pressure. Lampard has gone clear as well, further down the field. Okay, so so this is now a. In, we've got a heat battle for fur, uh, to win this twice this feature race. 20 second to 40 second. But can they keep a good. But will they have a strong time compared to those starting first and twenty first? Rick Karakazova is sitting third, followed by Kokajua fourth, and running through top five, that is best coats. Bit about fifteen seconds separating first down to fifth, and then it is Emmanuel Claret and then Lampinen seventh. Lampinen sinks very first overall. So Lampinen doing a okay job it looks like. But anyway, Joe Mel Smith, highest placed by athlete in this group in the lead with Barlett, who is 27th overall. Uh, just behind second position. Here we go. Fourth and final round of the shooting range. This could be decisive of who ends up taking wins this race and sets a good hope and maybe set a good time for everyone else to, for those going after them to try and beat. Here we go. Mel Smith and Barlett into the shooting range. Okay, Mel Smith underway, so is Burlett. Karakasova and Kokajura come into the shooting range just now. And Miller Smith missed the target. Let's open the door for Burlett. Burlett goes clear. Joe Miller Smith has two targets. What about Ivor Karakasova? She's going to miss the target. Kokajura's missed two. Uh, looking further down. What about Best Coates, maybe? Clarice missed the target. Best Coates goes clear for the United States. Okay, so Burlett. Definitely got the break she needed to win this group. Lampinen goes clear for herself and for Finland. As we've got Bathley uh, still coming into the shooting range as we reach this 30 kilometer mark. Zorba Lowe has three. Seven to see has one. Seven minutes and 37 seconds is Burlett's time. Okay, focus on those behind. That is, this will be best Coates. I'm pretty sure that is Coates. No, it's uh, Joe Mel Smith, sorry. Uh, second at the moment, Karakas over third, Best Coat is fourth. Uh, coming down fifth, that is Emmanuel Clara, then it's Lampin sixth, and Cockajua is seventh position for Belarus, and Neil Gray is next in eighth. But here comes Delphine Claret. Pretty much led after, uh, pretty much held on to an impressive lead uh, throughout the race. Well, after the first, first shooting range. And here we go. And that is Delphine Clara back across the line. And win this race. And what is her time going to be? Her time is 8 minutes 30.1. A very, very good time uh, that she's definitely set. 
But what what will those Friday Twenty Fires' response to that? Can will they go even faster? And so who will? And what will happen with it, uh, with Delphine Barlett? So Miller Smith comes second. Karen goes over as third. Beth Coates is fourth. Emmanuel Clare is sixth. And uh, Bell for sixth position. Cockajur being at Lampinen. Neil Grit is eighth. We just gotta wait for everyone else to finish this race. And here we are. Everybody has finally made to the finish line. Delphine Barlett the fastest in this group. Eight minutes thirty point one. Joe Miller Smith is second. Karen goes over takes third. Beth Coates is fourth. Clare at fifth. Cockatoo is sixth, Mary Lampard is seventh, Corinne Neugra eighth, Valentina is seventh, Nassina ninth, and Annette Sickfland rounds off your top ten. So with that out of the way, it's now time for the first to twenty first race, and then we'll find out who will take the overall lead of the competition. And here we go, this is the first to twenty first race with the overall leader being Petra Bell, starting in fourth position. In second place is Natalie Santo starting in fifteenth position. And Hilgun Mikopas, who sings third in the championship standings, is starting in 10th position. So, will any of the three of them take the lead of the championship, or will someone else find their way in first position? So it's Anne, Lynn, Elfback, Anne Briand, and Louisa Noskova that start on the front row. Without further ado, let's get into this race and find out what is going to happen here. And it looks like a pretty good start for Ambriand, who looks like already going into an early lead ahead of uh, the other two in the front row, Elfback and Noskova. Although there's like a bit of drama down in the midfield as they head towards the top of the hill. And who will take the lead at the one kilometre mark? It is going to be Briand, Noskova, Yushi Dussel, and Bell rounds off your top four. Of course, the overall leader sitting fourth at the moment. First out of 21st, separating by only four seconds. And here comes the Skova to try and make her sneak her way into first position. And look at that, someone else trying to get involved in the action. I believe that is one of the German athletes. It might be Petra Bell that might be trying to make her way into first place. Is it Petra Bell? We'll find out the 2.2 kilometer mark. And no, it, oh no, it's Yushi Dissel that is trying to get into third. And here we go, coming down the hill into the shooting range, they go. And here we go, let's find out who will, well, who among them will go clear and take an early lead in the race. And here we go into the shooting range, who will, be, who will get into their slot first? And now it's Ange Harvey that's going to come in first, thing ninth overall. Shellbread second, Gre uh, Granapetta is the third fastest. And here we go, missed from Ange Harvey already, missed from Shellbread. Okay, lots of action in the shooting range. And Paragina goes clear for Belarus. Uh, Mirim Bedard from Canada goes clear. I think they're the only two that have actually gone clear. Yeah, it's definitely only them that went clear. So Paragina takes the lead of the race. What about uh, Bedard? Second place, nearly five seconds down. With Ushi Dissel, Ange Harvey fourth, Gelbred fifth. And that is uh, Petra Bell, overall leader. I think it says sitting in sixth position. You know, coming to the four kilometer mar mark, that is Svetlana Paragina uh, coming through, two minutes 6.7. Of course, Paragina coming to this in fourth place at the moment, fourth place overall with uh, uh, the Canadian 12th overall, Ushi Dissel 21st overall, so the last spot to get into the first 21st race. So Ushi Dissel has got a lot of work to do to try to hold on to the being in the top 21 to, to be in the, in the feature races. Coming to the 5.2 kilometer mark, that is Svetlana Paranajima, who has got 235.5, really quick time there. And they're making her, there we go, making her way down the hill. She's got a five second lead over second place, which is still currently Miriam Bedard from Canada. And here we go into the shooting range. Uh, they come. Now, let's see, can Paranajima go clear again? Possibly extend her lead over the rest of the competition. This will definitely come in handy for her in the championship. Should she be able to pull it off? And Parajima misses the target. But Darth misses the target as well. Parajima goes two penalty loops. Not what the uh, Belarusian needed. What about Ushi Dissel? Ushi Dissel does go clear. Remember she got the last place spot to get into this race. And Natalie Santa, second overall, goes clear. 
And Ambrian, fifth overall, goes clear. Mikopes goes clear. And so does Sesnikova from Czech Republic. So Ushi Dessel takes the lead, four seconds ahead of Santa. Ambrian is third. Bedar goes down to fourth. Uh, last person to go clear, that was Petrova. Well, we've got Rubikova who's missed four targets, sitting 20th overall. So just hanging on to making it into the, the first 21st race. But I can imagine Iveta Rubikova is going to end up dropping places, maybe into the, down to the 22nd to 42nd races. Nushi Dissel, 4 seconds ahead of Santa. Brian, 3rd. Bedard, 4th. Panajima goes down to 5th. Miko Pass, the last by athlete within 10 seconds of the leader in 6th place. There we go, 7 kilometers in, and we're coming to the halfway mark of this race uh, for sure. And it is Ushi Dissel in 21st overall taking the lead of this race. As here she comes down to the hill to start the first of the two rounds of the shoot of the sand shoot. About four and a half minutes into this race, a good time from the German. But can she convert it into a overall win of this race? Could she end up jumping, um, jumping into the top 15 maybe overall? Maybe even higher than 15th? And here we go into the standing shoot. They go top five, top six from six different countries. And Ushi Dessel working her magic. And Ushi Dessel does indeed go clear. What about Natalie Santa? She goes clear. Uh, Ambrian's missed the target. So does Paranajima. Uh, Ambrian's missed two. Bedar's missed one. Mikkel Pess has missed two. Well, can Sesnikova sneak her way uh, up the order. Sesnikova and Green Petter could indeed, and here is Petra Bell going clear as well for Germany. The overall leader got better work to do here. Ushi Dissel, 5'10.3, 4 seconds ahead of Nathalie Santa. Nathalie Santa is not giving up that easily. The sole Italian in the competition battling hard. And again, Nathalie Santa is second overall, only just only 1.3 seconds slower than Petra and then Petra Bell coming into this race. But I think Nathalie Santa, as it stands right now, is in a really good position to take the overall lead as Petra Bell is struggling in sixth position at the moment. Now Rubikova, who missed four targets in the last round of the of the shooting range, does miss another target. In fact, she uh, she is in danger of probably end up being lapped by Ushi Dissol. Which is not good being the first 21st race. And here we go into the fourth and final round of the shooting range. Can Ushi Dissel finish strong and give herself a really good time? She's in a good position to do that. Nathalie Santa though is right behind her. So Nathalie Santa will be wanting to give it her all. To try to not only take the overall lead but to probably win this race. And here we go. Ushi Dissel's missed one target. Not what she needed. Not a time like this. She does only, only, only one penalty loop for Ushi Dissel. But Nathalie Santa in a good position to take the lead. And she does take the lead. Uh, Nathalie Santa goes into the lead. Ushi Dissel will probably have to settle for second position. And here we go. There's Ushi Dissel coming out of the shooting range. She does end up 1.9 seconds down. Not too bad. But it could have been a win for Ushi Dissel, and it's just not meant to be. Looking there, we've got uh, Bell with one more penalty loop. Not what she needs, so she's definitely going to lose the overall lead. Mikkel Pess and Chloe will go clear. That's, uh, that'll help the, their times out. Going to the 13km mark, what is Santa's time? 7.20 exactly. 1.7 ahead of Dissel. Ushi Dissel looks like she might actually be closing in on the Italian. I'm looking for a down, got uh, lots of twos uh, penalty loops and a few one penalty loops as well. Now, Rubikova last overall, it's just coming to the penalty, into the shooting range as uh, Nathalie Santer nearly coming towards the finish line. There's Ushi Dissel still trying to catch up with her, but it looks like Nathalie Santer is going to definitely hold off uh, the German for the win and definitely take the lead of the championship. Rubikova has four more targets, that's really not good for the Czech Republican. Really, really poor uh, performance there for sure. And there is Ushi Dissel and Nathalie Santa making the way to the finish line. And Nathalie Santa will just hold off the hold off Ushi Dissel and take the win. The time of 8.11.5, only 1.3 seconds behind her is Ushi Dissel. What a way to finish this race. Very, very close battles between Santa and Dissel. And what a show they put on. 
And now we just gotta wait for everyone else to make their way across the finish line. And here we go, everyone else has made it to the finish line, so Nasty Santa takes the win. Ushi Distal is second, Svetlana Paramajima is third, Petra Bell will finish strongly in fourth, but it's almost certain that she will no longer be the leader of this overall competition. Miriam Bedard is fifth, Simone Graham Petter is sixth, Anne Brianne is seventh, Hilgun Mikopes eighth, Claudel ninth, and Irina Sestakova rounds off your top ten. So with that race out of the way, and this round out of the way, it's now time to check the championship standings. So with the feature race out of the way, it's time to check the standings, and in the men's side of the competition, Sven Fischer does remain the leader of the competition, over 50 seconds ahead of second place Patrice Bailey-Salens, with Alexander Popov running for top three, just ahead of Busso by 8 tenths of a second, then it's Rico Gross from Charlie rounding off the top five. Looking further down the board in the top 20, Ludger Gredler is 11th ahead of Ole Anna Borondalen with Oleg Reisenkov in 13th position. Jen Steignan went from 20th up to 16th and Herr Flander went from 11th all the way down to 18th, being over 2 minutes behind the leader of Sven Fischer. Last but not least in the men's competition down to 21st to 30th, the only biathlete that didn't change positions is Johnny Steeldom staying in 22nd place. We see Pierre Beto Carrara went from 18th all the way down to 25th and all making their way down to the uh, 30th. Frank Perrault went from 26th to 30th with Holland Passler making his way into the top 30 going from 34th to 28th. Now we jump over to the women's side of the competition and Natalie Santa has taken the lead with a 17.8 second gap over second place and former leader Petra Bell with Svetlana Parajima and Hilga Mikopas swapping positions for the top three. The only bath in the top ten that have held on to their position is Ambriand in fifth place. And now we see Ushi Dissel gain 12 positions to make her way into the top ten. And now we make our way from 11th down to 20th and Grenier Petra M gained 5 positions to be in 11th, just missing out on the top 10 spot ahead of Belakova and uh, Talanova who have both lost positions, 1 and 5 respectively. The Sestakova and Shellbred who have hold on to their positions in 14th and 15th position. And further down we've got Joe Mellismith gained 5 positions and Delphine Barlett gained 8 positions to get into the top 20. And to round up the top 30, we have Olena Petrova in 21st, losing 3 positions ahead of the two Bulgarians of Karakazova and Dafoska in 22nd and 23rd respectively. And further down we've got Beth Coates and Mary Lampinen making their way into the top 30, gaining 7 and 4 positions respectively. Moving over to the men's nations table, and the only difference is Germany have taken the lead over France with an average of 5.2 seconds, with third to down to tenth remaining the same, with Norway third down to Ukraine in tenth. In the women's side of the nation's competition, Germany have also taken the lead there, ahead of Norway with an average of 6 seconds, with France in third just 17.8 seconds behind Germany, and the other difference is Belarus gained 2 positions to get into 6th position, ahead of the United States and the Czech Republic. And last but not least, at the mixed nations table, the top 10 have remained exactly the same, with Germany still ahead of France and Norway in 3rd position. So with Anarchy out of the way, I hope you tune in next time to see what else will happen for the rest of the 1994 Olympic season. I hope you're looking forward to it as much as I am. So thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye.